we believe that we send all of our water to California or that casinos and resorts use an outsized portion of our water resources? Well, we are here today to talk to you about several myths related to water use in Southern Nevada. We want to set the record straight and give you the facts. It's time to tap the truth. Hi, I'm Colby Pellegrino, Deputy General Manager of Resources for the Southern Nevada Water Authority. And our topic for this edition of Tap the Truth is, boy, we're getting a lot of rain lately. That must mean we're out of the drought or Lake Mead must be filling up again, right? Wrong. Uh, the answer here is actually hard to grasp when you sit here locally and see what happens. But the water in Lake Mead, over 90% of it comes from the upper basin. Uh, it's coming from the Colorado River Rockies and flowing down through those mountain ranges uh, into the Colorado River, into Lake Powell, and eventually into Lake Mead. The water we get here locally makes up an even smaller portion of the water that goes into the Colorado River. And while those rains are really helpful at changing our water demands here locally, they're not really impactful to the lake at all. But take advantage, turn your watering clock off when you have those rains, let your grass drink up all that natural rain and save yourself some money. And that's how we tap the truth. For more information about the most popular water myths in the valley and the real truth about them, find us on YouTube by searching Southern Nevada Water Authority.